to remind you, of course, at the group stage, all five matches within the tie must be contested. It's only when we get to knockout stage that any dead matches, once the match, the overall tie has been decided, uh, that we will drop any dead matches. But here in the group stage, all five contested. What an interesting fifth match that is, uh, the mixed doubles, because we've got the former world number fives against the former world number threes. So if it was two all by that stage, it will be very interesting indeed. Well, I'm Jill Clark, and I'm delighted to say that I'm sitting alongside uh, Steen Peterson, former head coach of uh, the Danish national team. And Steen, looking at that uh, lineup, I guess one or two surprises in a selection. first appearance of the former world number one and the trial way in the main series after serving his doping violation ban he is back in world of badminton but as you can see the players coming on to court for the first of our matches which is these doubles and it is the current world number ones at the day and he won some for korea up against Govi Shem and Tan Yong of Malaysia. So this is a very interesting match because we have uh, the Malaysian pair there were the Asian Games bronze medalists last year and their opponents of course were the Asian Games silver medalists last year in Inchon in Korea. So the world number one is for Korea Obviously, they will be looking to get their team off to a winning start. I know we say this every time, Steve, but obviously, vital in team competitions that you get off to that flyer. Yeah. Responsibility with these two men's doubles pair. Get the team off to a flyer. That's what they will be wanting to do. So the uh, Korean pair, as I say, they are world number ones. Lee Yong Day and this man, Yoo Young Sun. Lee Young Sun, 28 years of age. Good player, but when you look at Lee Yong Day, former Olympic mixed doubles champion, the 26 year old from Korea, he's been world number one in men's doubles with three different partners. That really is an extraordinary record. Jung Jae Sung and Ko Sun Hyun are the other two men with whom he has been world number one. There is a Govi Shen, the 25 year old, he and his partner. Up four places in the world ranking this week, the 229. They have their minimum number of tournaments to give any sort of a realistic ranking, and that's 10 tournaments. And their Tan Wei Kiong, uh, 25 years of age, uh, so he'll turn 26 uh, later this month. Born in Sabah, the island of Borneo. Really came to prominence, the Malaysian pair. Esteen, I think, when they were selected for the Thomas Cup campaign. And, of course, Malaysia went all the way through to the Thomas Cup final last year, losing out to Japan in that wonderful, wonderful final in Delhi. 
Well, there you can see two previous meetings and both occasions has been won by the Malaysians. The last, as you saw, was at the semi-final stage of those Asian Games. Hence the bronze medal for the Malaysian pair. And, of course, the uh, Korean pair lost out in the finals. The Indonesians, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan. So, that last time they met at the Asian Games, it was a little one-sided. And, I suppose, Steen, as the players uh, get ready to uh, start the first match within the tie, if I compare the two pairs, I think of absolute consistency with the Koreans, and I think of the Malaysians of having huge talent and potential, but not yet showing the consistency that I'm sure they would like to bring to their game. Consistency is um, probably the difference between these two pairs. Yeah, I can tell you his first surgery on his knee was when he was just 15 years old. That's uh, not a good omen for the future, is it, if you're struggling with injuries from and such gentlemen. a young age? On my right, Korea, represented by Lee Yong-dai and Yu Yong-sung. And on my left, Malaysia, represented by Jos Jif Bishen and Tan Wing Kyung. Malaysia to serve. Tan Wing Kyung to uh, Li Yong Dae. Bravo. Play. So this uh, group one. D tie gets underway with the men's doubles. Service over. And now the One Korean lock. coach Choi Min Ho, who was another player who showed huge potential as a junior silver medalist at the World Junior Championships in Melbourne, going back to 1998, but never really progressed into the senior ranks. I'm not quite sure whether that was injury problems or whether he just chose the route of uh, going to the coaches. Now there, a quick glimpse of the Malaysian bench and our friend and former colleague there, Morton Frost, now uh, with the Malaysian team. about the desire to get your team off to a really good start and I suppose that pressure and uh, desire also equates into a bit of self-imposed pressure as well. Yeah, I think so, and especially here in, in the first tie of the tournament where you're not... Oh, that was... That's unbelievable. What a shot. Especially here in the first tie of, of, uh, of the tournament where you're, you're not really familiar with the, the playing conditions and so on. And we can see that the Koreans have looked a little bit shaky here in the first uh, five rallies. So we're waiting for them to sort of settle in. assumes that the Koreans should come into this uh, men's doubles match, this particular men's doubles pair, full of confidence, because of course oh. the last tournament oh, they played. So Ooh, service for service call by Jakob Simberg, our service judge, struck above the waist. 
last tournament they played, the Asian Championships, they won. Yeah. I'm just checking with the service judge what the fault was called for, and it was called for struck above the waist. I did think the whole Korean team, though, in the very first tournament of the major tournament, Super Series event in all England, I thought, in generalisation, the Koreans were perhaps not as I had expected them to be. No, they, they, they seemed a little bit off form there, but uh, I think most of the teams are focusing on the Olympic qualification period starting with this tournament here. But a very positive start for the Malaysians who definitely want to try to shock these two Korean players here. So important for them to get off to a good start after the uh, big loss at the, the Asian Games. 6 and 15 is not no. a lot. So. In order to get confidence, so important to get a good start. Oh, a good return of serve. Service over. Seven. Three. Oh, I have made a good start. play broke the strings of his racket did well to control that the young day Four, seven. yeah this is a super angle though well as he's uh, getting himself a new racket and applying the grip powder I have to ask you Steen about how a change of environment uh, which has obviously happened for the Malaysian team. They've got Lee Chong way back in the squad after serving his uh, suspension. Uh, they've got a, a new a director of performance in Morton Frost. And how much of an influence do you think those uh, two influencing factors will have on lifting the team and lifting the spirits? I, th I think they have huge influence. Uh, in this tournament, I think uh, probably the most that uh, Li Chung Wei is eligible again for play. Um, but uh, on a little bit uh, longer term, of course, also the influence of, um, of a new uh, performance director. We, we've seen it already with some of the selections for both this tournament and, and the uh, uh, tournaments coming up that, um, that the change is... Uh, is underway and, and not a small change. Yeah, well, I'm going to come back to that later because I know you have your ideas on perhaps a change in philosophy and uh, within the uh, Malaysian team camp. But this is uh, a good little comeback by the Koreans. Just one point in it now. And I suppose as far as the Malaysians are concerned, they've got to stop that happening, which is uh, a good low serve from Lee Yong Day, and then Lee Yong Day absolutely commanding the front of the court. Interesting that the Malaysians had a little yeah. word with the service judge there. Yeah. Asking him if if he was looking carefully enough because uh, he felt that it was high. And I must say, at, at the World Championships last year in, in Copenhagen, uh, one of the things that I noted was that uh, Lee Young Day was serving considerably better than he used to do. Uh, that's good for him. Any technical reason? Did, uh, has he brought I his serve a little I higher? I think he's brought it higher. And, and, and the racket is um, more um, horizontal. Yeah. Oh, he's been called service fault again. There's Jakob Sundberg, our service judge from Denmark. Oh, now, hang on, wait a minute, what's going on here? Yeah, all the umpires quite definite. Play. 
service judge's call and decision is final. Once he's made that call, you can't argue. You can have a difference of opinion, but you're not going to get the call reversed. That's a good smash from Yu Young Sun. Able to predict who is actually making the moves, trying to change the defense around. Oh, smash. But don't you think that's where this no. Korean partnership has got that extra dimension? I mentioned a little earlier that Lee Yong Day has been world number one with Ko Sung Hyung, who was his partner before teaming up with Yu Young Sung, and we all wondered about the change why were they changing the partnerships yet again yeah. and I think it's that ability of Yu Young Sun to actually take the forward stance yeah. and play from the net that gives them a little more potential than the previous partnership yeah because uh, I think most of us can agree that Lee Young Day is among the top three players in, in men's doubles in the world and and then tactical point of view is always to try to get the opponent uh, his partner uh, towards the net and let Leon Day work at the back court that's difficult here yeah well, ups and downs ebb and flow of the opening game and it means that the Malaysians have a one point advantage at the mid game interval on a run of three straight points Oh, this has all the trappings of a very, very good encounter. generates a powerful smash. Now that's always an interesting thing to me, the way Lee Yong Day is so far back in his defensive stance and quite often when it's hit just down his forehand side, he still uses that backhand defense. We'll keep an eye out for that later on in the match. I suppose you coaches would technically want a player to use the forehand defense would you or you, yeah, you don't it, mind that no we don't, uh, i think we don't mind um, generally uh, it's up to what the player uh, feels is more natural so 11 10 in the opening game first match within the tie uh, short lift but uh, lucky for the koreans there Shen smashing across the body. Yeah, but look at that cross shot there. Wow. Yeah. Excellent shot from uh, Tan Wu Kyung. Now, what were we just talking about? Yeah. Trying to play that backhand defence when on the forehand side. And if it is too wide, that's where he really struggles. Yeah.
Well, doing as you suggested, perhaps most pairs tactically would naturally try and do, yeah. which is to keep him at the Lee Yong Day at the back of the court. Keep, keep him at the back because he's not as dangerous from the back as he is at the net. Really, really lethal at the net. And also sort of try to get him away from where he's most confident. for Tan Wee Kyung. Yeah, he's rated, but simply a miss hit. Control there from uh, the Koreans. seems to have hang time yeah. in the air. Yeah. When we talked about the Koreans with the preferred um, front player position, back player position, I, I think the same goes for the Malaysians, that um, the better position is with the go here now serving at the back. Yeah, I'd agree um, with that. And Tan has been playing excellently in this first game, in my opinion. Yeah. Well, that's a pity because he came forward at the right yeah. time. He yeah. was doing the right thing. And he just needs to continue doing that. Th there will be some mistakes, but he can't allow the Koreans to control uh, the front court. Yeah. those two service faults called he's now lost the rhythm on that serve and there's a service error well one of 
the many rules of serving is that the shuttle must be struck below the waist and the waist is defined as below the lowest rib oh, that's a super return isn't it oh goodness me that was good deflected by the net cord my own perfection Well, the backhands really did all the damage from Govi Shen. That one. And they've been using that a lot. The backhand cross towards the Koreans' backhand side. into that they're not afraid of uh, the smashes of the oh. young day but uh, that was well placed yeah Man, no wonder nod of approval from the Korean coach dissecting the Malaysians both leaving it for the other straight down the middle in between them that is always such a clever shot in doubles. And you've got to be accurate with that. They oh, almost seem to be hiding after that serve. Oh, yeah, it was loose. Yeah. That was a gift for the Koreans there. So all level again. 18 all. Oh. 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 Service fault called again. Once again on Lee Yong Day, and he looks to the service judge. Yeah, but, oh, but it's it. way too high. He's moving his foot as well, Steen. Yeah, but th that's simply illegal, and yeah, and he needs to lower it. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I agree with the service judge. Yeah, you know, players have been testing the limits and testing the limits time and time again. And it's good to see a service judge having the courage to yeah. call it even when it's close. Yeah. Crucial stage of the game. If it's a fault, it's a fault. It doesn't matter what time it is. Uh, you're quite right. Smashes from uh, go. So the first game point opportunity falls to Malaysia. Oh, my <laughs> goodness, <laughs> me. <laughs> It 
extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. That's a fall again. Good badminton, good rally. 21, so having just survived a game point, now the Koreans have a game point themselves. serve will only be called again right. yeah. their first game points opportunity and uh, Lee Yong Day and Yu Young Sung take the opening game for Korea my goodness me Living on the edge. 22-20, the scoreline. 21 minutes needed for that opening game. I wish we could hear what he's saying. I can't hear him. No. Well, Morton Frost, former world number one in singles player, former national coach in Denmark and Malaysia and South Africa, now back. Former colleague of ours, of course, as well, but now back with Malaysia. Top one, 20 seconds. Top one, A good 20 win. Seconds. First game for um, uh, the Koreans here because they didn't really get their game established, but they still managed to, to pull it off in the end. So, as Steve Peterson says, the Koreans won a game to the advantage after game number one. But, Steve, your comments there make me a little bit nervous for Malaysian fans because the implication is that the Malaysians played well, but they still couldn't actually secure that opening game and you feel that the Koreans can actually play at a higher level. Yeah, probably they, they'll be a little bit more confident now. Um, I think the Malaysians put them under pressure in, in the first game and, and had the quite an uh, easy task of, of um, winning the attack on the Koreans, which is normally quite difficult because they have a very, very solid defense. Yeah. Um, So he's not serving it well either. Go. Of course, there's a different kind of pressure. We talked about the pressure of playing the first match, but also playing the, the, the pressure of playing a team match. 
mm. playing for your country instead of just playing for yourself in, in a tournament. I know you're, of course, Li Chun Wei is still playing for Malaysia, but he's just himself. You know, they want, they desperately want to give the the team a good start. Yeah. I suppose to explain that a little bit further, the, the weight of shared responsibility. If yeah. if you go on to court as a, as a player and you lose, then it's, you've only affected yourself. If yeah. you go on in a team competition, you've let the whole team down. And it's that exactly. shared responsibility. And, and even though Malaysia are the clear underdogs in this uh, team tie, everybody dreams of winning. And, and if you uh, if you have a dream of uh, Malaysia beating Korea here, I think the most likely three matches that they could find is the matches that includes male players. So there's increased pressure on, on Go and, and Tan here because we must um, rank the Korean ladies, both ladies singles and ladies doubles, to be quite a bit stronger than on the Malaysians so they yeah. must try to get a win in men's doubles men's singles and then the that final match the mixed doubles which could be an absolute thriller the former world number fives against the former world number threes it could be done absolutely be done. Four, one. Oh, oh. also really important to get off to another good start here in the second game believing in what the coach has told you in, in the interval over. Two, four. There was yeah. the, uh, the, 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 the was that cross backhand, but this time the young day got it covered. Yeah, again a little bit in the upward direction fault. instead exactly. of downward direction. Service fault is called yeah. again. Service over. Five, two. And, and it, I have to say it's correct. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> What I think is a little bit pity is that he look was at actually... It, look at it. That's... That's ridiculous. And that's a good call. It's a good yeah. call by the service judge. It was a little bit of a pity that the Koreans were actually... Uh, Lee Young-dae were allowed to serve, in my opinion, a fault to serve in, in the end of um, the first game. Yeah. Um, I think for most of these players, they practice hours and hours in order to have a precise short service yeah and uh, I think it's really difficult to, to change the position five or ten centimeters mm. if it's illegal there's a good chance it's gonna be either illegal throughout the match mm. or it's gonna be really bad if mm. you change it because of course you the things that you practice but the this is this is the thing, Steen. I mean, why? I, I understand exactly what you're saying, and players get into the rhythm, and of course, uh, uh, human judgment comes into this, subjective opinion, and there will be a difference between one service judge and another. Yeah. But in the practice hall, you have got to practice what you think is the cusp of le legality, yeah. and absolute certainty legality yeah. in case in case you have a service judge that believes that taking it to the limit is actually over the limit yeah well, well as a coach or a former coach uh, I would say that, um, you don't have to be absolutely sure of the legality you just have to feel that the benefit of serving on the edge is bigger than being positive on the legality. Yep. Very well put. Oh, well Excellent. taken. That is Lee Yong Day at his best. Fantastic. Oh, 
that's clever. Very, very clever from Govi Shen. Delightful change of pace. And that's perhaps one of the things that um, that Morton Frost can contribute to the Malaysian men's doubles play that we don't have to play fast paced all the time it's actually really really efficient to play fast paced fast paced and then just block it yeah well I think the unease that he's experienced on his serve has perhaps affected other departments of his game. How often do you see Leon, Leon Day make an error like that at the night net? Very rarely. He, he's, yeah. not, he's not confident right now. No. Oh, look at that defence. Tan Wee Kiong. That is a moment of magic. Take a look at this. Just that slight turn of the body yeah. movement. Just generating the power from the technique of the shot. Yeah, all judge gone wrong. Well, of course, the other team in this group, as we saw right at the start, is India. And the interesting thing, Steve, is that India are actually ranked higher than Malaysia as far as the team rankings were concerned when the 12 top 12 teams were decided for this group one which is subdivided into four groups but in my humble opinion I think that this quite possibly is the strongest group do you yes, think in, in the whole of group one the dynamite group yeah D for dynamite. Good one. Excellent challenge there by uh, the Malaysians. Ten, six. Ten. Yeah. Challenging. Leon Day got it covered, but uh, but he missed it again. Yeah, he's rattled. game interval a five point advantage for the Malaysians here in the second game but remember of course the Koreans won game number one well, this is a handsome lead Jeremy Gann you're the other coach Malaysian coach <laughs> uh, just block it. <laughs> <laughs> Look where his defensive stance is. He's almost on that double service line. Yeah, that was another mistake shot, wasn't it? Well, I must say that normally the stance works really well been that for far back yeah for, for him and, and his phenomenal also in, in reaching the drop shots but, uh, of course one of the keys is to to uh, to use a, a bit steeper attack not not so um, fast paced but quite steep I feel a lot of um, 
the responsibility in this game lies on, on Tan Mi Kyung, or perhaps not the responsibility, but, but the outcome. Can he play at a... Can he be a little bit more consistent at the highest level that we've seen him play today? Then the Malaysians have uh, a good chance, but um, there's been some easy mistakes as well. If he can cut down on those, there's stand a good chance. Yeah. Yep. Oh, he's being called again. Now, I'm going to start keeping count. I make that five so far, yep. is that yep. right? I think so. Yep. Just picking up on that point, though, Steen, about the uh, responsibility, as it were, or the outcome of the match. Uh, quite possibly dependent on uh, Tamwe Kiong. I also think that he's required not only for his skills and physicality and reading of the game, I think he has a role to try and keep Govi Shem focused. I think Govi Shem is one of those, he's so talented yeah. that he has so many choices that sometimes he tries to do something a little bit too extravagant at the wrong moment and he needs his partner just to keep him calm and at the right point say keep it positive but keep it simple yeah now it's one played Yeah, I have a feeling that, that? That, that was as high as uh, Lee Young Day's serve, uh, but um, yeah. that's, no, we, d we don't get it here. But yeah, but look at that angled shot. That's what you were talking about yeah. just a moment ago. Don't just look for power, look for the angles. If the Koreans are going to stand that far back on court, not only the block, also look for angles. Also, if, if you play a little bit more soft pace, angle shot, you'll have, even though the opponents can return it, you'll have a much better chance, or most likely you'll have a much better chance uh, with the next shot. Because it's harder to control if there's variation in it. This is where I can just sense that the Malaysians have just. I don't know whether they've tightened up or whether they've gone off the boil or quite what's happened, but they've really just let the Koreans back in. Yeah. That's oh, well a clever, clever play from Bovin Shen. I initially liked the block from Lee Yong Day blocking and then moving forward but it left a huge gap at the back of the court that's the one I liked but his partner's not covering no. That emphasizes your point, Steve. 
and the Kion coming forward. Look at that, a deliberate step further forward. Almost a sides attack formation there. Yeah, and, and it's so important for, for Tan that he continues to step forward. He must not hesitate. If he hesitate, he's going to lose it. Put pressure on in the front court. Let the Koreans know that uh, I'm there. Good four points. So the Malaysians there. variation on the attacking play. That last smash from Govi Shen much flatter. I think it's about chest height by the time yeah. it gets to Yu Young Sun. over 13 18. Yeah, it was uh, his own third shot. Ten week young created a lot of problems for him. Adrift. Oh, behind the back. Yeah, now that's the sort of extravagance to which I was alluding to earlier. Testing out the new racket. Very much a courtesy amongst the players. Excellent rally here. The first, the first rally where we've seen the pairs really settling in, getting their defense working. Well, that has got to be the longest rally of the match so far. It is to level this opening match at uh, one game all. It is indeed one game apiece. We're going to be treated to a third and deciding game. 
21-14 confirms the umpire. And certainly Lee Yong Day is in a spot of bother. Lost confidence on his serve because of the service faults and losing confidence rapidly with the rest of his game. It's always good to see. I always like the coaching style when the coaches involve the players and instead of just telling them, they get them involved in the decision making process. I know that's very much a style of coaching that you always adhere to, Steen. Yeah, it depends a little bit because <laughs> it depends whether. Uh, whether you think the players have a plan that will work, but um, if, if you think they have, then it's much better to let them do mm. the analysis because mm. you have a much stronger ownership of it. But you must be ready to intervene if, um, if you can see that they're a little bit lost and be yeah. more directive. Positive for, for the Malaysians that actually played, in my opinion, better both of the two games here. But um, let's see if they can continue. Exciting game, isn't it? My goodness me! Yeah, super badminton. Probably the reason why I always like to coach to involve me, Steam. One of my favourite sayings, or uh, you know, uh, famous sayings actually, back in England, is "Tell me, I forget. Yeah. Ask me, I remember. Involve me, I know." and when I was involved I knew because it had been a joint decision that that was the right way forward but it is a dilemma for you coaches I mean quite obviously I mean we've both uh, recognised that Lee Yong Day is not playing his normal self he's yeah. had by my calculation uh, five faults called on his serve what do you as a coach say to a player in this sort of scenario <laughs> it's really difficult uh, one of the things that puzzles me is that he hasn't tried a flick serve yeah. they have the best defense in the world the koreans mm. but they're not using the flick serve uh, that would be a, a, a possibility and, and then also to sort of um, ask the young day to perhaps take the last five percent of his game so he does need to play 100 percent i think and, and slowly get in the game again avoid fast pace but in a way i mean that's that's sort of lee on day's game if you yes. if you if you ask him to change his whole natural style that's perhaps going to unsettle him even more so yeah, yeah i've asked you in the impossible question basically <laughs> no but, but if, if you say that he's for instance uh, you could say that he's like uh, 60 percent of the double uh, and your young song is 40 percent or 65 percent 35 percent it doesn't really matter but but just 
he doesn't need to be as many percent as he wants to be today he can just slow down five or ten percent and, and they will still have a good chance of winning because mm. Yong so is a, uh, Yo Yong Song is a capable player yeah. so he can be more responsible here mm. yeah, that's a very very yeah. good smash yeah. and, and I think the Koreans have come out the better pair here in, in the third game because they're trying to get the attack. Um, playing more clever shots and, and I, I feel that if they succeed in, in getting the attack they will win um, the match. So, so it's going to be a battle for the attack. That's a nice shot. Yeah, it was the little disguise block from Tanwi Kiong that really set up the rally. And that, that's the bad news for the Koreans is that Tanwi Kiong has, has gotten confidence. So how stable is that confidence? Is it fragile or is it, um, is it going to continue throughout this third game? I feel that... Uh, Go is playing his his oh. usual normal good yeah. game, very powerful in the attack, hard to uh, put pressure on defense. Four, three. Mm, yes, another error from the young day. Yeah, oh. that's nice. Just a little word from you, young son, to his partner. Come on, doesn't matter. Let's keep fighting. Yeah! Not a lot you can do against that, really, yeah. though, is there? play there by uh, Lee Young Day. Four, five. Uh, definitely block it a little bit more against Go because I feel that he's more prone to, to lift than uh, Tan Wee Kyung. Oops. Yeah. So he realised the loser wasn't ready to receive. Oh. oh, I was about to say what a wonderful interception from the young day, but he did overdo it. Yeah. It was wide. We haven't had a challenge yet in this match, have we? Oh. Good linesman. We'll be doing Hawkeye out of a job. <laughs> that Yu Young Sung had that capability from the front of the court beautifully demonstrated in that rally yeah. 
you see where that damn <coughs> defensive shot came from that wasn't really good enough that was uh, Tan Wee Kyung so if the Koreans can be patient enough in their attack they will get the possibilities what a great match to to start with yeah absolutely yes. First tie within Group D in the first division. Seven, six. Now, if I was a Malaysian fan, I'd be feeling a little nervous right now because I think there's been a sign, little signs in the last two or three rallies that the Malaysians have just gone off the boil. Yeah, I it think it's, it's so hard to stay on that thin yeah, line. Yeah, it isn't. Of course, you'd like to create a, a, a gap for yourself before the interval, but, but perhaps you'll just settle for being even. Oh, that's a good win for the Koreans. Yeah. An unbelievable defense initially from the Koreans. Look at that. How dare I criticize no. him playing that a backhand defense down his forehand side. That was magnificent. He's not been called in this second game for service fault. Uh, has he? In this third game. Third game, yeah. Third game. No, I don't think he has. That's a good point. Yeah. Six of the last seven points yeah. have gone to the Koreans. I just sensed it. Wasn't that an important point for, for the Malaysian pair? Seven, seven, yeah, because seven of the previous eight points have gone their opponent's way. said he wasn't Interval. serving too Gentlemen. well either, Govi Shem. And that's at least a third service error from him. So the advantage at the change of ends is with Korea and it's a four point advantage. Five minutes shy of the hour mark. Here, the Malaysians are saying. We have, we have to block. <coughs> Court one, we have 20 to seconds. block. Yeah. Court one, yeah. 20 seconds. Players, coach, coach, to your chair. Yeah, they have to block and they also have to be 
a little bit more aggressive in their defense, especially Tan Hui Kyung, uh, because he can't withstand three, four, five attacking shots directed at himself. So within the first two or three shots, he needs to do something and move forward uh, in order to take the pressure off himself. And, and that's a little bit difficult because Go can easily withstand the pressure if the smashes are, are aimed at him. All right. Perhaps I was a bit 12, too confident in, in, in Go there, but, but he's got a more stable defense than, uh, than 10. Six. Well, apart from it looking as if the uh, service judge was absolutely right about being struck above the waist, it really does look to me, especially seeing that again, that he's moving his feet when he serves as well. He's walking into it. Of course, you mustn't move your feet while you're serving. Both feet must be stationary on the ground. Morton getting very animated there. Yeah, because he feels that this match is winnable. Yeah. This is one of the matches that you'd really like to win. You're the underdog, but things are going your way. And, and, and right now he feels like it might be slipping away. But let's see if the Malaysians can make a comeback. Incidentally, that slash, 368. That's 228 miles an hour. Your challenge. Whoa, we've got a challenge. Malaysia are challenging. They thought that landed in on the back line. My first impression was that it was way out, that they were appealing that, that it should have touched uh, one of the Korean players. Well, I think your instincts were probably right. I concur with you, Steen. But we will wait for Hawkeye to make the judgments. And here is Hawkeye. And indeed, yep, your instincts were right, Steen. It was long of that back line. Oh, there we have him. Um Slow, it was not as long as I thought it would be. Well, that was never the same shot, was it? Was it? Service over. Couldn't have 13, been. 9. Play. Good smash again from Go, targeting uh, Yu Yun Song. teammates well, are still cheering their men on but I would suggest that the next couple of points are absolutely crucial uh, well that's a little bit naughty from Govi Shem just pointing as if to try and influence the line judge that it was out the back. There's no way that was out the back. <laughs> Surely. Uh, just watch what he does with his left arm as the shuffle that. Oh, that's inside the tram line. Goodness me, that's naughty. <laughs> the precipice they need to make their comeback and get back on level terms 
sooner rather than later if it's going to happen at all. Yes, so, so good from you, young son. It may look as if it's a nothing shot, but it's got just enough pace yeah. on it to make it awkward for the server. The server can't intercept and, and uh, his partner is uh, unable to make a, a quality shot unless he lifts it to the back court. Yeah. Wow. Second time he hits the net court in uh, the service return. 12, 15. And it was that delightful block, first of all, then that interception played towards the half-court area, yeah. setting it up for Govi Shim to use his power play. Really important for the Malaysians right now because they found a solution to playing the defence. And this could go either way still. good there's a challenge there yep. that has got to be challenged it was called in Malaysia, well there was no hesitation about the challenge from the Malaysians they were convinced it had gone long but they also we, hoped it would be long. yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah Let's have a look. Hawkeye's made the decision, and indeed it was long. What a good challenge oh, by the Malaysians. So that means there's just one point in it now. still have one challenge remaining and they probably feel that they are on their way of making a comeback because they've struggled in the, the last part of uh, oh. the third game uh, the first part of the third game but now it's equal and it, it, it's absolutely extraordinary and it's why this sport of badminton is just so fascinating because the ebb and flow of one pair gets the domination you think that the Malaysians I said a moment ago when they lost what was it seven of eight points you know well the Malaysian fans will be in despair at the moment and look their pair have come back it's all level it's one game all and 15 all in the deciding game yep, but he is struggling with that serve isn't he 16 yeah, and I think actually Yo uh, Yong Song hit the net court. Oh. 
Service ball called again above the waist. 16, 17. But he shouldn't be surprised because he's serving the same way he's been serving all match. Yeah, now look at that. Below the lowest rib. If, if the waist was anything like what you and I call a waist, I mean, there would be no question. No. Even with <laughs> that, I don't think there's any question. No. Loose shot yeah. and punished by uh, the young day. Yeah, what was that? Hesitation, and it ended up as a half court lift. That's not, is that three consecutive returns of yeah. serve? He's yeah. found the net court. Tom Wee Pion. The, the players they practice in, in hitting the net court. Yeah. If, if you hit it in a certain way, sort of top spin it a little bit in order to use a tennis term. Yeah. There's a good chance that it will oh, pass the net. Still phenomenal to make it happen. Well, there's another net court return of serve. This time. From Lee Yong Day. 1970. Yeah, the point you made earlier on, Steen, I don't think he's even tried a flick serve yet. I wonder if he'll try it now. So there's more likelihood of getting called for above the waist on a flick serve because you naturally lift the arm in which you're holding the shuttle. And if you're lifting your arm, then, of course, you're going to strike the shuttle even higher. What's he going to do? Yeah, low serve. <laughs> Three po more points for the Malaysians. Yeah, but only two needed for the Koreans. This is all desperate stuff. Oh, oh my oh. goodness me! How on earth did he do that? He saved it. Fantastic play by Lee Young Day. Unbelievable. The flick serve was superb. Yu Young Sung slipped over. He played the next shots off the floor. His defence was absolutely incredible. Well, a real lesson in why it's worth fighting. Keep the shuttle going. You never know. You can just get away with it. And they haven't just got away with it. It is two a match point opportunities. Extraordinary. Good serve. Well, that's one match point saved. Well, it's Go V Shen to serve. That's a real question whether he will get this serve over the net. Yeah, pressure. Perhaps a flicker. making him wait even longer adds to the tension oh good it's service. good serve <laughs> unbelievable oh my god what a rally again 
20 all. Extraordinary badminton. And look at the delight from the Malaysians. Wouldn't it be great to have a pulse sensor on the two Malaysian coaches <laughs> right now? <laughs> oh, extra points. Goodness right. me. nerve on his serve again yes he does okay. it's gone long well played they've just saved oh there's going to be a challenge is yeah, there a challenge it's, it's out there's no question it's out surely oh I'm getting too excited <laughs> now nah, that's definitely long that's in badminton terms that's way long of the back line so after saving two match points now the Malaysians have a match point opportunity themselves That's really well played because that's a really difficult shot in that situation. That